And welcome back to the Flow Sports Fix on this Tuesday evening. We're in the home straight right now, which means it's time for Court and her Sports Express. There's been some rumours that have been floating around saying that the Australian Open might move overseas. So basically because so many players this year complained about the quarantine and the fact that, you know, they they couldn't exercise and just all of the little gripes that they had with the Australian government due to our quarantine program. There was whispers that uh, maybe in 2022 the Australian Open would be moved to Dubai, for example, but the Australian Open boss, Craig Tilly, has uh, refuted this and he has said, no, nope, it will definitely, absolutely be in Melbourne. Um, he said, we're going to make it work. That's a hard thing to do because you just don't know where our country is going to stand in January 2022 in terms of COVID or where the world's going to be. It's a big call to make. In other news this morning, uh, a couple of, uh, well, movie industry identities have moved their focus here to Australia. Now, we know that there's a lot of Hollywood stars over here at the moment, but it's got nothing to do with the movies. But they've actually bought the Brisbane Bullets, the basketball team. Uh, a billionaire movie producer, he's uh, Basil Iwanek, and he's the founder of Thunder Road Films. So, you know, they've, they've made a few bucks, something like $3.5 million in films alone. They've produced uh, the John Wick franchise, Star is Born, Wind River, and quite a few others as well. So he's joined in with a few other heavyweights of the Hollywood industry to buy out uh, the uh, the Brisbane Bullets. What is it with movie stars and, 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 and music industry experts that make them want to get into sports and own teams? It's like the great American dream, not to own a house, but to own a sports team. And finally this morning, uh, Tyson Fury has confirmed that there'll be a rematch between Tyson Fury and Anthony, Anthony Joshua, and we now know that it will be on August 14. It'll be in Saudi Arabia, and that's simply due to the fact that the Prince of Saudi Arabia wants it so, and therefore the uh, the date has been set for the 14th of August. Thanks, Court, and you can catch Courtney back on the Brecky Flow tomorrow morning between 6 and 9, and listen out for a Sports Express part of the Brecky Flow that you have with Courtney each weekday right here on Flow. Well, just before we go, we've got a couple of birthdays to let you know about. Celebrating their birthday today, Roger Davis, the Aussie golfer who won the Australian Open back in 1986, having his 70th birthday today. And Jessica Watson, the Aussie sailor, she became the youngest person to sail solo, non-stop and unassisted around the world in her yacht Ella's Pink Lady. She departed on October the 18th, 2009 and arrived in Sydney on May the 15th, 2010. And Jessica, what a great achievement that was. And Jessica turning 28 today. And Peter Landy called his 1000th AFL VFL footy match for Channel 7 on this day in 1997. Those old commentators, sometimes I wish they were still around. Oh, the good old days. Well, that's it for the Flow Sports Show for tonight. Thank you for your company. Thank for you for being a part of it. And don't forget you can, if you'd like to share something with us, you can do so. Look for us on Facebook, Flow Sports. That's the new Facebook page. Go and have a check out of it and see what's there. And yeah, comment and let us know if there's if you've got an opinion about something that we've said tonight. If it's about the Saturday afternoon football and you want to share it, then do so. We'd love to get your comments. We'd love you to be a part of the show. We certainly welcome them. And we'll have more on the Sports Fix coming up tomorrow on Wednesday. Uh, the Flow Man and the Stat Man, they've got more to talk about with not just football this week, but also yeah, another ball sport. We'll have a conversation about that. Listen out for that. Enjoy your evening. Enjoy your sport. If you're off to training, whatever you may be doing, remember, hydrate, stretch, cool down, warm down, all that sort of thing. Make sure you do all that so that you're ready and primed for weekend action. Have a good evening. We'll talk again soon. Bye.